All right, let's talk about how your computer accesses information on the World Wide Web. You may be used to typing in a web address, but do you actually know what the parts of that address mean? That web address is actually called a URL, or Uniform Resource Locator, and it's how your computer knows where to look for the information you request. First, we'll look at some of the important elements needed for any computer to pull up information from the web. The HTTP protocol is read by browser software, like Netscape or Internet Explorer, which is used to access the World Wide Web. HTTP is short for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP defines how messages are formatted and transmitted and what actions web servers and browsers should take in response to various commands. For example, when you enter a URL in your browser, this actually sends an HTTP command to the web server, directing it to fetch and transmit the requested web page in HTML. A web server is a special computer that holds web pages and delivers them from the internet when requested. HTML is a language that your web browser, like Internet Explorer or IE, understands. HTML is just special text that you could see and maybe read. It is often referred to as source by your browser. This special text provides the codes to format and organize the websites your web browser displays. More simply put, a web browser is a software application used to locate and display web pages. The two most popular browsers are Netscape Navigator and Microsoft Internet Explorer. These are both graphical browsers, which means they can display graphics as well as text. In addition, most modern browsers can present multimedia information, including sound and video, though they require plugins for some formats. Plugins are special programs that you or your browser will download to display, use, or play a variety of special files, from music and radio to graphics and video. Each website on the World Wide Web has a unique uniform resource locator. A URL is the address of a website. It's how your browser finds the website you want to look at. Most web addresses, or URLs, begin with HTTP colon slash slash. This informs the browser that the web files are using the hypertext transfer protocol. Another common protocol you might see is FTP, File Transfer Protocol. HTTP is typically followed by a URL. The URL is divided into several sections. Reading from left to right, we have www, means the information is on the World Wide Web, followed by the domain name, which will often tell you the name of the company, university, organization, or web service that you are visiting. The domain name is looked up in a server that sits on the Internet called a Domain Name Server, DNS. And in that server is the address of the actual computer where the information is located. Next, a suffix, which can also describe the type of site you're visiting. The most common is the .com, which is most often used for commercial purposes. .edu is short for educational, like a college or university. .gov represents the government. .org is used for organizations, often nonprofit. There are also suffixes for particular countries, from Australia to Zimbabwe. All of this information together represents the address of the particular computer on which the information is stored. It's the same as getting the street name and number, city name, and zip code on a piece of mail. Everything has to be right or the post office won't know where to take it. The URL will then point to a precise path of folders to look for the saved web pages on the computer where the website, in the case of our example, is stored. 
Similar to how you look for a particular folder on your hard drive, the browser digs through folders until the right folder is discovered that matches the name and extension the browser is looking for. Because the file that the browser is searching for is a web page, it will most likely end in the extension .html. Just like knowing some geography means you can tell a lot from looking at an address, knowing the parts of a URL like protocol, domain name, and suffix can tell you a lot about where you are on the web.